Hey, big shout out to everybody who supports John's Moto Garage. Especially a huge shout out to all you guys who've been supporting the channel. Today we're talking a little bit about Cruise Originals. Shout out to Rebel Reaper, Goon Rides, Shade Tree, Dynamite Crew, JB Stunts, the whole uh, Bikes, Boats, Bivouacs. Yeah, the whole crew. All right, buenos dias, que paso, you guys, John's Moto Garage. Welcome back. This is going to be a super, super quick and brief update. I worked tonight. I worked last night. So I'm, as always, a little bit sleep deprived. But I've had some people asking when I'm going to get the FXDX back from Cruise Originals. And I was planning on getting it back sometime this week. Unfortunately, it'll probably be another week or two. We're waiting on a few parts. But Ryan did call me with an update a few days back. And he actually had some really startling uh, news for me regarding the bike when he went in to do the oil pan mod so we'll get into that but first what are we waiting on I'm waiting on the case saver that one's coming down from Canada so we're still waiting on that he said he got the elite mototech lever so those should be installed soon also he was out testing the new uh, scrape plate that he installed that's adjustable he said even at the beginner level he was not able to get it or he barely got it to scrape on his bike and that's one of the cool things about Ryan over at Cruise Originals is he doesn't just make the parts and run the shop the dude actually rides he actually walks the walk he doesn't just talk the talk check out his Instagram the dude kills it on the Harley and so long story short with this great plate he's gonna go in and change it up a little bit because he wants it to be so that at the beginner level beginners can actually scrape it just like if it were a full fender and then you can work it in from there. So I'm glad he's doing all that. He's putting it to the test, making sure everything's good to go. That way, by the time I get it back, we should be all set and dialed in. So here's the startling news he had for me. As you know, I'm having him do the oil pan mod. That way, when you're up at 12 o'clock on the Harley, you're not starving the engine of the oil. And when he went to do that, I guess you have to drain the transmission. And he said the transmission was bone dry. Like not a drop of oil came out of there. And the crazy thing about that is I've received for over $8,500 worth of work and parts that were done on that bike within the last like 2,000 miles. And one of the things that was done that's on the receipt is the transmission was rebuilt. And so, and I think it was even charged for the transmission oil. Anyway, long story short, I'm not gonna like bash any other shops or garages or any of that. I'm just gonna say I'm glad I took it to Cruise Originals Fortunately, he said the transmission is solid. Those things are super reliable and super hardy. And so we're good to go. But yeah, I'm just, just relieved that I took the bike into Cruise Originals. And that probably explains why I wasn't able to get the bike into neutral because I was really struggling with that. So anyway, takeaway from that is and make sure you take your bike to somebody who you trust and who's gonna do right by you. So huge shout out to Cruise Originals. I'm not sponsored by them. He didn't pay me to do any of this, um, but he is really hooking it up at the shop and I appreciate it. It is much appreciated. He's here local in Arizona. So if you're here in Arizona and you got the Harley, or you're looking to get into the Dyna Wheelie stuff or the Harley stunt stuff, definitely check out Cruise Originals. You can rep some of their merch as well. And you can check out their website. So if you're not in Arizona, you can still hit up cruiseoriginals.com and pick stuff up. They're always coming up with new stuff. I was watching his Instagram stories today and he came up with a new way of doing the oil pan mod so that when the oil drops down, it still cools it off and then still goes to the pickup. He's always kind of innovating and pushing and it's real specific to the Harley stuff, especially like the stunt stuff. And so for me, that's, you know, exactly what I'm looking for. I think that about does it as far as the update on the FXDX. So it may still be a week or two, maybe three weeks before I get the bike back. That's okay. I always forget that I still have this Dyna here. And so I'll probably take this out for a spin here in the next couple days when I'm off work. And I really wanna get back into trying some drifts. So we'll do that on that bike. I wanna say big shout out and thanks to everybody who jumped over to John's Stunt Garage. The support has been tremendous and I can't believe it. So I do appreciate that as well. I don't think I'll be dropping a video on John's Stunt Garage today, but we'll definitely have more content to come over there. So if you dig the stunt stuff or just you like watching a wannabe learn how to do stuff, then be sure to jump over there also. All right, there's the quick update. The uh, FXDX still in the shop with Ryan. He's uh, taking care of it. And once it comes back, it'll be better than new, good to roll and ready to hit the, uh, hit the ground running. And that's gonna do it, bam. Shout out again to everybody, Cruzies, Rebel Reaper. He hooked me up with my first gloves. Goon Rides, Dynamite Crew, Shade Tree Surgeon, JB Stunts, Get Lowered, 
all these cool dudes memphis mike bikes boats bivouacs um the support is much appreciated go have fun go ride your motorcycle if you're able to we'll catch you next time adios los famosos